Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Chandler or the Geek Slays and today we are back on MLB The Show 22 and we're going to be doing our second kind of rebuild. I feel like it's going to be fun. I'm going to go through the like 15 worst teams and rebuild all of them. Today we're starting with the worst team according to the game, which is the Oakland Athletics. Fantasy draft is going to go ahead and stay off. Extra inning runner is going to be off because that's what it is in real life, I believe. Or it's going to be changed soon either way. Uh, we are going to go ahead and manually manage all of that stuff. We're going to go into spring training. Mostly because the earlier we're in, we can look at some free agents. Because again, we need to boost this team a bit. We need to make it better. And there is a couple ways to do that. We're going to go ahead and bring in Trevor Rosenthal. Jonah Bride, you're gone. Ryan Zimmerman, welcome to the team. Oh, man. Shortstop Todd Frazier could be an upgrade. We're going to go ahead and skip out on that. Oh, that's not shortstop. That's third base. My bad. Um, Brett Gardner. Wow. Okay. Michael Conforto. Um, I need to manage our rosters. Make sure... All the guys are in the correct spots. Starting pitcher, we have five in the league. Adam Aller, I'm sorry. Go to AAA. Trevor Rosenthal, welcome to the MLB. Oh my God. Add to 40, man. Move to MLB. Again, we, the, this team is weird. Why would you not want to call up your best guys? Like, I, I don't care that this guy's only 23. He's a higher overall than these two guys you have. Dude, you have guys in the pros who are awful. Remove from, for, uh, move you to like fucking double A and then remove him from the 40 man. Yeah, he's gonna hit waivers, I don't care. Move to double A, remove from 40 man roster. Like, what is that? Add to 40 man, move to MLB. Add to 40 man. Move to MLB. I don't understand what the heck is going on here. Why do we have two closers in the majors? You go to AAA. That makes no sense. Weird. Weird times. Why do we have three catchers on the major league roster? I'm sorry. I, I don't know if you're any good or not, but go to AAA. You come to the 40 man. Move to MLB. That's fine. That's weird. Jordan Diaz, why, why, why him over Earman, who's better in every way? See, this is why the A's are awful. No. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, remove you to single A because you're awful? And remove you from the 40 man like you're out? That was, that's so dumb. This guy is only 19, but he's already a 71 overall. And he's got a B potential. Like, I want him in the majors right now. I don't care. Robert Poisson, welcome to the team. Hope you're good, because you're probably going to end up being our starting shortstop soon. Left field, at least you make sense. Center field. Eh. What? Why? Look at that. Our team's already better because we're not super stupid we're gonna sim a couple days in Let's see game one. Oh, we gotta fix our lineups and stuff my bad and now did we win no we lost to the angels all right we are two and four auto fix the triple a stuff i don't care auto fix the double a pitching staff i don't care We are not doing off. Oh my God. We just hit a hot streak through the middle of April. All right. Now is a good time to go start looking at making moves. So I'm going to do that. I'll let you know if I find anything. All right. So the first trade we're going to make is we're sending Brent Honeywell Jr. and Sheldon Noose to the Phillies for Zach Eflin gotta start getting our pitching situation looking better 
and that just means we can move Ironman up to the main roster if we want to or somebody else doesn't really matter to me I'm gonna go look for more guys to trade for all right so our next trade is gonna be with the Rockies we're gonna send them Tony Kemp Jeremy Ironman and Yuri Beal Angelus yikes what a name I'm sorry for Garrett Hampson and Ryan McMahon boom we got some big upgrades to our team there now we got to get a new shortstop I don't love what we got so let's see if we can move Elvis Andres and we'll either end up starting Powson or something else we will see I just don't know who the who are some good options I don't know how we could swing it but if we could get Trevor's story that'd be magical let's see let's see if we can make it work we've got to do it we've got to give up two of our best prospects and Ramon Laureano but out of the deal we're gonna get Trevor's story who we are going to move back to shortstop that one's huge man this infield is already looking goaded we just brought in the Rockies infield from last year apparently except Garrett Hampson to me he's a center fielder but whatever it is what it is now we got to move Elvis Andres and maybe Zimmerman and try to get an upgrade at first base. I don't know if I said this earlier, but if I didn't, this is not a realistic rebuild. Obviously, we're just trying to make the Oakland Athletics a good team. I think we're starting off pretty well. All right, the guy we're going to trade for, I guess we are just assembling the Rockies infield. He's the best guy we can get. He no longer fits the Rockies timeline. So we're going to send him Ryan Zimmerman, Elvis Andres and Logan Davidson probably our best shortstop prospect outside of Poisson for CJ Crone add another power bat into this lineup this infield looks dangerous now you got Sean Murphy at catcher CJ Crone Garrett Hampson Ryan McMahon and Trevor Story now a little bit of outfield work maybe and probably some more work in the rotation and this team's gonna be dangerous so I'm gonna get to it all right we're doing another big trade we are sending Seth Brown Zach Jelloff maybe and Max Schumann to the Yankees for Giancarlo Stanton we are just gonna crush the ball that's that's how Oakland is gonna get their job done this team looking a little crazy at the moment i mean our least powerful guy is garrett hampson who has like a 98 speed for now we still need a center fielder now to replace him and then maybe a right fielder replace michael conforto or maybe conforto stays i don't know all right we are gonna trade gabriel masil and luis barrera to the Blue Jays for Rymel Tapia, who is going to be our new center fielder. Let's go see if we can do one more upgrade to our outfield, and then we will move on. That's the one. We're going to send Michael Conforto and Mickey McDonald to the Brewers for Christian Yelich. This team's stacked. This team is stacked. Too easy to make these moves. Now we just need some starting pitching, man now we just need some well just some pitching in general so i'm gonna get to work on it all right we are going to trade paul blackburn and ryan kusick to the white Sox for michael kopech boom Our pitching rotations looking pretty decent now i'm still gonna look for a couple more decent moves but who knows what we will find all right so we are going to trade James Capri, yeah, whatever his name is, and Ryan Castellani to the Tigers for Casey Mize. Mostly it's a slight improvement while also getting younger, which is still important to us to a degree. Now I just want to see if we can find one more guy, get our rotation entirely above 75 overalls, and move on from there all right we are gonna trade aj puck jack weisenberger and tyler ramirez to the nationals 
to bring Sean Doolittle back to Oakland. All right, we're going to trade Lou Trevino, Chad Pinder, and Jed Lowry to the Rays for Jonathan Arandada, Ar Aranda? Yikes. And Andrew Kittridge. We have a good closer on our team now. That's what we needed. We have a good closer. Our bullpen still needs some work. Okay. So we are having a few minor issues. I just went out and signed some guys. The game doesn't want to let me trade them. I don't know why. So I'm going to go fix our roster for now. Sim a couple of days. Yeah, we have too many guys in the pros currently. Um, and not enough guys in double and triple A. So like this guy, you're gonna you're gonna move up to triple. Merry Christmas. And then I don't know. You, you're gonna move to double A. All those rosters are full. I'm sure there are guys in the MLB who don't belong here. Jonathan Aranda is one of them go ahead and head on down big buddy um who else does not belong currently well colin you look like you are gonna get to stay on the team into the future because you are no longer the worst pitcher er, the congratulations all right now we've got to fix our lineups and stuff. Actually, I'm not even going to worry about it. I'm going to let it sim a couple of days and I'll fix the lineups. We'll let it auto fix some of that lower stuff. Michael Kopech goes ahead and gets us a win today. All right. I'm going to go ahead and sim a couple of days. Team's not playing perfect yet, but it's okay. I don't know why Pedro Strope is in our starting rotation. So is Sean Doolittle. We're not going to question it. We're just going to go see if we can talk some trades now. Um, hoping we can get our uh, watch columns fixed. Doesn't look like we're going to be able to, though, which is not great for us. Pitching rotation first because it is so incorrect. Zach, you're in. Casey, you're supposed to be. Kopech, you're in. And Flexen, you are in. Our rotation is entirely right-handed. That's a bit of an issue that we'll have to figure out later. Or maybe it's not because we just have so many lefties out the pen. Either way, that's fixed, so that shouldn't cause us to lose games anymore. And then our outfit. Our whole team feels messed up. Mike Freeman should not be in the lineup at all. Uh, Tapia is going to be our two guy, I think. I want Garrett leading off. Ooh, actually, who on this bench is the best hitter? Probably Freeman, apparently. Yeah, I didn't think of that. We hit, we have a spot. And we'll, we'll leave it as Pousted because I want him improving. But then I think, God, this team's interesting. We actually are going to have Yelich bat two. Tapia down here at the bottom. CJ Crone's going to bat seventh. Murphy at six. McMahon, Story, and Stant. Oh, this lineup is looking pretty decent, if I'm honest with you here. See how we do with our actual rotation. And not terrible so far. But not super great. Let's go ahead and finish out the month. Maybe that's what it takes. I think I want to package those two for somebody better package all three of them and get a real good young reliever in nick sandlin and that's what we're gonna do yeah we're gonna go adam aller and chester pimentel to get aaron loop into our reliever core all right we are gonna trade steven vote 
Ty Dameron and Adrian Martinez to the Rangers for Dustin Harris, who's going to move up and be an MLB catcher or first baseman for us. Now I'm going to just go make sure our roster is equipped the way we would like it. We apparently don't have enough pitchers total on our team or enough catchers so that's where we will jump into free agency sign this guy apparently and we don't have enough catchers either Let's try to find a young guy this carlos martinez character welcome to the team you are not going to be in the mlb i'll tell you that much right now we only have 26 players on our major league roster. Six, six, and one pitching wise. We've got Shea and Sean, DJ Crone, Dustin Harris needs to be added to the 40 man and moved to the MLB. Welcome to the squad. Freeman's still here. As much as I don't love that, because I'd much rather have Max Muncie, which is already someone who exists, but whatever. Ryan McMahon's still here. Poisson. Pousson? Poisson? Whatever. I feel like I almost want to move Kim down. But I think if I'm going to move somebody, it's going to be Hoyt. He's just worse, technically. That way we can call up one of these other outfielders. And honestly, it probably should be our mentoros oh we gotta add him to the 40 man welcome and welcome to the mlb I need another one of the young guys getting used to the league man we gotta be we gotta be getting prepared i'm gonna fix our lineups fix our rotations and then we're gonna sim to the all-star break and see how we're doing all righty we are ready to go ahead and sim to all-star week auto fix the lower level rotations that is not my job i do not care i don't care that it's the end of the double a first half either dodgers acquire clace from the guardians interesting jd martinez is headed to the Washington Nationals. Wow. That's a big one. Wow. Zach Eflin was a huge trade. Dude is 13 and 1 with a 226 ERA. That's gorgeous. Oh. Oh baby, oh baby, a triple! I want to know, did did we have any guys make the make the home run derby? We did. Giancarlo Stanton, of course, of course. Don't care enough to actually be there though. We had some guys be all stars, which is awesome. All right, let's go view now. Today is the trade deadline. We are third in our division currently. Standing wise in the wild card, we are right there with the our entire division apparently. I don't know how the Mariners are a wild card team. Because they're winning our division. Oh, I guess because the Angels are tied technically. That's dumb. But we are also right there. We are only two and a half games back. I don't know. Maybe there is a move we can try to make to just to just push us over the edge. Frankie, how you doing? Eight and five, four oh three. I I kinda wanna move them, man. Like if we could get somebody who's better, it'll be worth it. I think. All right. I am going to make the slight upgrade 
and trade Casey May Mize to the Twins for Chris Paddock. We just need the slight upgrades, man. We need to boost the team just a little bit. I know that doesn't do anything with the position we truly need, or not the position, but we need a left-handed starting pitcher, and we just don't have any, and we keep not getting them, so. All right. Finally, we get to move on from those guys we signed earlier. I'm going to trade James Hoyt and Chris Flexen to the Rays for Shane McClanahan. We needed, we needed a left-hander. Andy's young, so we'll take that. That is better for us. Better for us for sure. All right, I'm going to trade Michael Kopech, Aaron Loop, and Jordan Diaz to the Rockies for Herman Marquez and Austin Gomber. I'm liking this a lot. All right, we are going to move Kwang Hyun Kim and Pedro Strope to the Reds for TJ Antone welcome to the team okay so i think the way we're gonna do this it's gonna be a little weird but uh it's what's best for the team i think i want to make sure see we are down two from where we were which is not great but it's it, it'll be fine so i'm going to make austin gomber a relief pitcher think it'll be better for our team i still want to move on from montas but and eh, maybe not you know he's not been great but now we have a lot better guys around him actually gomber is better right now than gomber is better currently than shane mcclanahan like it's good to have McClanahan he's going to be good for our team now and into the future but if we can use McClanahan out of the bullpen bring TJ Anton up to the MLB that's a good start we need to go sign another starting pitcher or maybe we trade for one when we go out and try because I might move on from Frankie he's just not doing what we need from him right now and you know we have Marquez we have Gomber Eflin and Paddock so we can we can move on from a guy so that's not a big deal our rotation looks fine and then what do we need I think we can then call up dang we just traded the guy I probably would have called up originally but Max Muncy, welcome to the major leagues. I hope you play well. I'm going to do one more possible trade if we can find something for Frankie. Because now it doesn't matter if it's, you know, a lefty or a righty. We're, we're kind of good with trading whatever we have to trade. So... I'm going to go see what's out there, and then we will uh, figure it out. Going to trade Frankie Montas, Billy McKinney, and Dermis Garcia to the White Sox for Lucas Giolito. There's our, there's our ace. So Giolito, Marquez, Gomber, Eflin, and Paddock. And then in the pen, Trevor Rosenthal, TJ Antone, Shane McClanahan, Nick Sandlin, John Doolittle and Andrew Kittridge. How is Kittridge? He has six blown saves, but 28 saves. We can work with that. Team is looking ready for a playoff push now. Let's go ahead and make sure our lineups are good. I don't think anything changed. So we're looking good there. And then our pitching rotation, that's where things got different. Paddock's in, Marquez is in, and Gomber is in. So Marquez and Gomber slot in, along with Giolito. This rotation looks nasty. I mean, 
Gomber right now looks like the worst pitcher in our rotation. But hopefully the new team sparks something in him. Sean Doolittle is not doing the best, but hopefully hopefully the playoff push uh, excites him. That's the goal. I like, guess now it is time to just sim and see what happens. Don't care about double A. Really don't. Did we make our team a fuck ton worse by making it better? We gotta go call up two guys. Yeah, fucking auto fix the triple A roster and the lineup. I don't care. Oh my God, we are having a tough little go here. We have actually fallen behind. We, the final trades I made really fucked this team over. No way. We finish at 500. Tough season. All right, for now, I think that's gonna do it. Just a quick one year rebuild. Our team's really good. I don't know what happened. We'll go ahead. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do multiple years, one year, what you want from me. If you want multiple years, I will come back and add another year onto this in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.